What's up, us? This is your boy JTS. is back in with another video. I'm out here with Miss Quinetta, out here with Herman, and they're going to teach us about commercial fishing today. Commercial fishing is beautiful, first off. And um, to get in the game, it's pretty, pretty easy. You just have a fishing license, you need to have a boat. But the, the most, the key thing is relationships. Because you can catch all the fish you want, but if you don't build those relationships to have someone to sell to, it, it doesn't make a difference. I love what I do. You gotta love what you do. I love what I do. I came in this game kicking the door in, being the first of my kind, female and black. Like, let me in. I'm here. Um, a little bit about my job. I, I'm not even the front. I love my job because it's a seasonal thing. I make my money in seasonal chunks. How long is your season? Is the fishing season? Okay, the fishing season will run from September to about now. And then now, then you you start to run into the crabbing season. It's kind of like football and basketball, how they all run in. You're like, who I watch? That's what it's like. So then you move into the crabbing. Right now we in striper season. Okay. Premium fish. What's a striper for anybody that may not know? A striper fish, AKA bass. I mean, you mind telling the people what you're doing? Um, These are right here, uh, rockfish, striped bass. So before you can sell them, you gotta put a tag in his mouth so they know where they came from and when they were caught. Other than that, that's a fat federal offense. How long it take y'all to catch this? Y'all be out on the water all day? It normally take us about three, two or three hours. That's not long to catch that many fish. You'd be surprised once you see how we got our setup. Y'all gotta drop all of these off today? Oh yeah. That's what I say, they get it fresh, you know? T tell me what kind of fish these are. What, oh, what are we these looking? are blue, sh blue catfish. Blue catfish. Yeah. Oh, that's full of cat and all that. So do y'all usually, y'all catch the fish one day, deliver it the next day, or how long do y'all hold on to fish? The next day. Because it's a lot, and we can, the, where we go to, I can get in the sense even at night. Okay. Yeah. So we'll go up there. I think one day we had that trail over there, front to back, full of fish. <laughs> it's another hustle. Uh -huh. Like say you had a license and you older, and you're like, I don't fish no more, I'm retired. I could come to you and get your license. That's, I mean, get your tags, that's a hustle. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and you can make, Thousands. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about what's the most that we didn't hurt somebody made, up, made off their tags and we just good for the season, not fishing one day. Got 70 and 80,000 pounds mm -hmm. and they lease them for two dollars a pound. Mm -hmm. They don't even fish no more. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you got 70,000 pounds of rockfish tags that you leasing to guys like us mm -hmm. that can't get them. Mm -hmm. What's 70,000 times two? 140,000. That's it. That's, they don't work no more. That's it. Mm. That's they, what they do. They lease their tags. Yeah. Mm. And we ain't got no choice but to lease them. And I'm buying them. Oh, even, yeah. Though yeah. We, even though I get tags, I still want them. Yeah. Even if our kids don't never want to run our business, they can sell the tags. Okay. Every year, they're getting $100,000. And they can still do whatever they want in life. Mm -hmm. But every year, they know around this time, I'm getting $100,000 because my parents left us they tag, you know, they the license. Yep. Yep. And I want people to know that fresh fish, and we getting it this fresh and dropping it off to our clients. Y'all know that the store, the, in the store, is not that fresh. So do y'all buyers buy them like this, or do they gotta do how Herman doing? Do y'all gotta do that to sell them or not? No, they buy them just like this. They prefer them like this. So yeah. they okay. looking at the color, they looking at the eyes to see if they clouded over. Fish don't supposed to smell fishy. So if you smell, if you around seafood and it stank or smell seafoody, don't eat it. Cause y'all around it, do y'all smell it? No, every fish market I went to smelled like it. Yeah. That's because they're getting it old. So if you see in here fresh, it's been, it's a couple days when they have it. Yeah. If I, cause even when we drop five. off to them, yeah. Five. It's gonna be five days. Cause we might have it for a day and a half. They ice it down, put yep. it up. Yep. Then they got to sell the stuff from day before yesterday to day yep. before they sell this. Yep. Mm -hmm. So the fish you get out of the store, easily four or five days old already. Okay. You taste it different. So when some people say they don't like fish, I think it's because they need to taste it. Cooked differently and fresh. Mm -hmm. And um, this is what I eat. Why well, I'm gonna go buy a chicken? The only meat I eat is fish, what I catch, fresh. Mm -hmm. yeah. And when I, it's times I done ran out, y'all, I went to the store like, I felt dumb as hell. <laughs> like, why am I going to buy something that I catch? But that's that's another thing with the uh, fishermen. I want them to stop doing. Stop selling, giving us y'all stripers, and y'all can't even afford to feed y'all family a striper. They selling stripers to eat hot dogs. Yeah, <laughs> we have people bring us stripers, money that we pay, and I, and they tell us like, well, yeah, you know, I'm getting ready to go 
whatever. And we like, no. You think no people cooking. sick of eating fish? Like, they, if no. they eat so much fish, they tired of eating fish? No, they don't feel like they can afford to eat it. Oh. Um, because they like, no, we would rather give it to you and sell it than feed our family this delicious fish. Like, you see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah. So that's another thing. I eat what I catch. Yeah. I stopped buying meat out the store. Um, and it's cleaner. And yeah, it's we know exactly where it came from. Yes, because food is energy. People need to know that. And this is good energy. Food is energy. You wonder why you eat something and you feel like that? It's because you got the energy from the food. Another hustle that you can do in the fishing game if you don't want to go on a boat is build crab pots. Go on YouTube, find out how to build a crab pot. Reach out to the fishermen and tell them that you can do it. They will pay you 20 and up each one that you build. And how many y'all need for y'all season, or how many y'all own rather? We got about four hundred. But we, you want as many as you can get. The yeah. more mm -hmm. pots you got, the more crabs you can catch. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. another hustle, and it's a hustle where you will have a waiting list because yeah. you always need crab pots. Another hustle you can do if you don't want to go on a boat right now. Crab season is about to start. You can reach out to the fishermen and say, "I know it's time for y'all to clean y'all crab pots." Like mine over there, I got four hundred. Mm -hmm. I pull up with my pressure washer and clean y'all crab pots for y'all. Another hustle. You don't even got to go on the boat. Just go in the yard, clean they press, uh, pressure wash they, um, yeah. they pots and charge them by how many pots they got. That's another hustle. And guess what? You can go to each fisherman right now. Yeah. Right now because this is the top of the season and we don't want to do it. Another hustle that you can do. <laughs> <laughs> that, that we do that I feel like somebody can get paid off of. Go collect the pots. At the end mm -hmm. of the year. Shit. <laughs> Remember, you you pay somebody to go collect y'all pots and then give him the boat. I got a buddy of mine right now. He just got a ticket because he still got 150 pots in the water from last season. Money couldn't get to him. Money um, couldn't get to him. Weather get bad, get cold, yeah. and Life. he was just he yeah. was just like somebody could have made that money just going out there picking them. Crazy. And I'm talking about thousands now. Yeah, it ain't now, I ain't, them. now I ain't talking about no little money. I'm yeah. talking about you gonna be charging them per pot. Yeah. Let's just let's just do a minimum. Let's just say, all right, I do it. Five dollars per pot. Five times 400 what I got. Look like you ain't two grand. Yeah. 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 So it's little hustles and fishing that I'm telling people you don't need no license for that is extremely needed that nobody is doing. That no, no like nobody is doing that I've been writing down like, dang, we need somebody to collect pops, that's money. Somebody that can come pressure wash your pops, because now I got to do it. Mm -hmm. Somebody that can collect pops, that's money. Somebody that can build pops, that's money. Yeah. And you don't got to know nothing about fishing. No. no. And another thing you can do, you can just ride around and see where pops is, are in the yard. I see you got pops out there, you need them clean, they're going to be like, yes, how much you charge? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I told her, I said, in the next week or two, we, right. we'll be pressure washing yep. my crab pots. Yeah, it's, an, it's they, another they, hustle. Mm -hmm.